Excellency Stanislas Kamazi is the Rwanda ambassador to Nigeria. Of course, you may have heard how much Rwanda has become a center of excellence when it comes to good governance using ICT as a tool. To throw more light on this feat, we are today on the program hosting the Excellency Ambassador Stanislas Kamazi to especially focus on governors or e-governance, if you like, and using our city to boost employment creation in Rwanda. I am Bayeru Agabi. Your Excellency, you're welcome to the show. Such a pleasure. So you've been in Nigeria for, let's say, two years now. So how has it been working in Nigeria? Oh, well, it's been, it's been quite a good experience. Okay. Uh, and uh, I will say that uh, I enjoy I enjoy it so very much in, in this in this in this uh, uh, in that uh, that I found Nigeria to be a hospitable country. Uh, people are so very much warm and welcoming. So this uh, made easy my integration. So I'm, <laughs> I'm that, here. Yeah. So that's mm. a good one. Okay, let's take, let mm. take a look at this. Uh, um, between 1994 mm. and now. Mm. Rwanda has transformed from be what it was in 1994, mm -hmm. into, you know, from ground zero mm -hmm. to what it is now, center of excellence. Mm -hmm. It has become a reference point when it comes to Africa's development. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are pointing at it. The statistics are pointing there. Mm -hmm. You know, what happened? Thank you very what much. You yeah. Thank you. Uh, to start with, of course, you want to remain quite modest. Yeah. Uh, as much as we have uh, made uh, uh, good strides in uh, moving on from uh, the dramatic uh, situation we're in 1994, yeah. uh, that's very good, very happy about it. We are uh, mindful that uh, we still have a lot to do to get Rwanda where it deserves to be, uh, meaning a country with the people who can claim uh, a, you know, a unified social life. Yeah. I mean, a developed Rwanda, that's what we're aspiring to. But this is a long process. And uh, maybe what I would say is that uh, uh, we, we are very happy that uh, we have been able to, to lay down a foundation uh, that make, makes us believe that uh, we are on the right track. And maybe that uh, what people refer to uh, as uh, Rwanda having become, a, you know, like a reference. Uh, we, we glad that that is noticed, but uh, we also uh, we, we we also feel uh, like we have to remain humble so that okay. we we don't believe that we achieve it while we still have exactly, uh, so yeah. much to do. Okay, let's take a look at your uh, economic uh, indices now. Mm. Uh, you have agriculture, you have tourism, you have. Uh, we have mining. We have mining and all of those. Yes, ones. we have each services. Of those, yes. Each of these one, which one contributes the most, you know, uh, to your GDP? You know, that is where you have uh, your focal point. Well, um, you, let, 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 me, let me touch on, on, on these sectors you, okay. you, you have listed yeah. just to, to, to tell you how, you know, to indicate to you yes. how, uh, how each and every one contribu yeah. contributes to, to, the, you know, to the growth of the yeah. economy of the country. Let's start by agriculture. Oh, yeah. Agriculture uh, occupies uh, more than 70% of our people, which means, uh, you know, which makes it a big contributor mm. to, 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 to the GDP. Um, it has, uh, you know, it was redefined to ensure that we ensure food security for people. That's very important. People with no food can't do mm. any other thing, yes. any other thing. Yeah. So food security to start with, but also to generate uh, enough produce to sell on, on, on markets, especially in the region yes. and this, uh, elsewhere. And uh, this was further made possible by the fact that uh, Rwanda uh, has a number of cash crops like coffee and tea, one of the best actually worldwide beet coffee or tea. I don't know whether you have had a chance to sample it, yeah. which is for export and mm -hmm. brings in uh, foreign, foreign exchange. Yeah. And, uh, we went further to really refine it in a way that uh, uh, agriculture has become, uh, or is it transforming into uh, uh, into a, a a big support to the to, to the economy yeah. and to the to you know to the economy uh, from a, a macro, exactly a macroeconomic yeah. point of view, okay. but also which contributing to 
to the transformation of the livelihoods of people. Just be beyond, uh, beyond, beyond uh, food security, yes. it's uh, a money maker, if, 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 I, may, if yeah. I may say so. Let's now come back to uh, the, the main show, which is technology, ICT, mm -hmm. you know, how it's empowering the people, driving yes. businesses, mm -hmm. driving innovation and driving growth. Yes. You know, um, to what level, you know, as your go government, you, you know, taking ICT and why did you see ICT as a catalyst for uh, developing your economy and to what the state has it done that for you? Sure. It's, uh, I mean, we didn't reinvent the wheel. Uh, in, you know, under the skies uh, out of Rwanda, uh, ICT has contributed to the transformation of, uh, of economies and, uh, you know, has been a trigger of development. So that we, you know, we, we, we didn't have to, to think mm -hmm. about it. We, we, we knew about it. And then um, in 2000, uh, a blueprint was conceived that would contribute contribute to the, transform the economic transformation of the country, and that's what we call the Vision 2020. It was aimed at transforming Rwanda into a middle-income country by year 2020. Uh, and ICT was identified as one of the contributors to that transformation. And as part of that, uh, the, you know, as part of that, a strategy was, uh, w w w w it's a plan, actually, you call it a plan, a weekly plan, it's the national uh, information and uh, communication uh, co communication um, uh, infrastructure plan, yeah. NICI, okay. N I C I, okay. which was uh, designed into mm. different phases. Mm. The first phase was about uh, policy definition, uh, relevant regulations. Mm. Second phase was about um, uh, putting in place the infrastructure. Mm. Talk about the infrastructure. First of all, uh, we you know, we, we, we had to put in place uh, like a baseline for for ICT to penetrate with, you know, to penetrate, I mean the, to ease the penetration of the ICT mm -hmm. and it, it's along that, for instance that uh, uh, telecom companies mm -hmm. could be licensed to operate in Rwanda it's part of that that uh, uh, the government of Rwanda invested in um, setting up a national uh, fiber optic backbone, 5,000 5, kilometers, making it actually, uh, making that uh, all parts of the country are now connected to that broadband. Schools. To the fiber optic, exactly. all, all, all around the country. Yeah, exactly, but yeah, exact backbone. Exactly. So, um, and uh, other, oh, you know, other, other, other tools. That means that, that is like turning Rwanda into a hotspot. Exactly. Oh, I, I didn't mention that also we did connect to, yes. to, to the sea cable, yes. you know, connect to the sea to, 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 to cable yeah. uh, that would offer like a consistent broadband, yeah. uh, all connected with them, connected to our, our national backbone. So let's talk about skills, mm -hmm. of, you mm -hmm. know, because when you have technology and you mm -hmm. don't have the skills, mm -hmm. you know, um, that technology may not live uh, pretty long. Yes. Okay. So do you have schools for training people or system or scheme for training people in ICT skills? So let's go into formal education. Yes. As part of the formal education, definitely ICT is, uh, was identified as one of our priorities. Yes. People are trained uh, at uh, university level. But uh, beyond that, uh, skills for computer literacy starts from primary school. In Rwanda, we have a program we call One Laptop Per Child, uh, whereby at primary school, uh, computers like small laptops were designed to help young children starting from, you know, young age mm, yes. to start uh, uh, yeah, interfacing, computer, exactly, computer. exactly, interfacing with the, the use of computer yes. and some programs and so on and so forth. That's one aspect, and the same goes at secondary school yes. where Actually, the use of computer is being popularized, mm -hmm. and at, a, at university level, definitely, this goes beyond just the use, but mm -hmm. uh, also involves uh, training in terms of uh, uh, you know no, knowledge acquisition. Mm -hmm. This in Rwanda, but also elsewhere mm -hmm. where we can tap uh, tap those uh, those opportunities. Uh, you might be aware that. Uh, Carnegie Mellon is running a program in Rwanda. Yes. You know Carnegie Mellon? Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a, it's a, like a, a, a 
a top well, notch university, yeah. you know, normally headquartered in Pittsburgh. Uh, they have opened um, a postgraduate program in Rwanda that serves definitely Rwandans, but also other other Africans yeah, that uh, they, they, you know can register with the program. With all these kind of education mm. and skills that we have in Rwanda, from mm. primary to university level, yes. it does mean that it will be safe to say that some of the applications are developed locally. Oh, it has started. Actually, we have a number of start, 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 start up or startups. I don't know. Yes. Where they, yeah, we the call startups, them startups. Yes. Exactly. Whereby you have young people who have uh, developing a number of applications that uh, are used in Rwanda, mm -hmm. but also uh, I use another exactly right, have them. been transferred in, in, in other countries. It's, it's really coming. It's really coming up. One thing I didn't mention was uh, the use of mobile tele telephones for yeah. money transfer, mm -hmm. which has become like. A, Almost uh, 90 percent, more than 90 percent of the population of Rwanda is mm -hmm. hooked up with uh, this practice, which comes with a lot of uh, benefits. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much for your time. It's a pleasure. It's yeah. a pleasure uh, being hosted uh, by you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Such a I pleasure. really appreciate it.